Dear Ambassador Minia, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is a great pleasure and honor to be here with you today to celebrate French National Day. The importance of Bastille Day and of the French Revolution cannot be overstated. The revolution restored the world's faith in democratic ideas, liberty, equality, and fraternity. This day gave meaning to the values we now cherish, values that brought us together and values that define our very existence. The capture of Bastille became the symbol of justice triumphing over injustice and freedom over tyranny. Since then, many countries, including Georgia, have had to face their own Bastille. France's history shows us that when we face these moments, we must fight with those same values which united the French nation on July 14, 1789. The fundamental values we share, democracy, human rights, freedom, and the rule of law, have strengthened our enduring friendship. It was France that sheltered the founding fathers of the first Georgian Republic from where they still fought for the independence of Georgia, and later they got their eternal rest in France. Paying a high price for their own liberty, the French have always stood beside those fighting for their freedom of choice. On behalf of all Georgians, I would like to extend our gratitude for France's strong support of Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity and for your invaluable contribution to Georgia's development. This support of France and all of our friends is even more valuable as we face challenges brought by borderization process. Only through consolidation of the efforts of international community and civilized world, we will be able to resolve this problem. This year we also celebrate the 25th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations since Georgia regained its independence. I can say Georgia is lucky to count France among its friends. Over these years, France has been a valuable and reliable friend and partner. I am delighted to note that our partnership is growing stronger in all dimensions of our cooperation, covering political, economic, cultural, and military fields. Our soldiers, together with the French military, strengthen international security on the African continent. Georgia and France are also stepping up cooperation in the agricultural sector, including the wine industry, a wonderful heritage that we are glad to have, <coughs> to have in common. Those were the Georgians that have discovered winemaking millennia ago but those were in the French that have uncovered the wine's most subtle qualities. I am happy to note that in July, the first exhibition of the invited vineyard will take place in Bordeaux to honor Georgia and Georgian wine. The National Bank of Georgia has announced that in response to this exhibition, it will issue five lorry denomination silver collector coins on the topic of Georgian wine. We are grateful to have France's steadfast support in pursuing our European and Euro-Atlantic goals. And we are particularly grateful for French support in the visa liberalization process. When we talk about our bilateral ties, first and foremost, we think of our shared future. For this reason, I hope to see more French businesses thriving in our country and more French tourists visiting Georgia. I would also like to use this opportunity to thank you, dear Ambassador Minier, dear friend, and your team, together with the French Institute, for the enriching programs devoted to strengthening the Francophonie in Georgia. The Institute used to carry the name of the great Alexander Dumas after his travels through Caucasus and Georgia, he wrote, Georgians are keen 
on making prisons like other peoples are keen on taking them. As soon as all nations open up for such an exchange, this world will get much better. On this note, I would like to propose the toast on Georgian friend, French friendship and to these two great nations. Thank you very much.